In today's show, we ask you what you want for Christmas. We found out some more about Curiosity Day. Hey, Vikes, I'm here. And more information on the final schedule. I'm Carson. And I'm Mike. And this is Seaman Viking Television. We are making stories by teens. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. With finals going on this week, the schedule will be pretty weird. Emery talked to Mr. Alexander to find out what's happening. Hey, Vikes. I'm here with Mr. Alexander, and he's going to talk to us about the new final schedule. So, what is it? Well, we're trying something new that we can, hopefully, it will give students more opportunity to study and teachers more opportunity to make sure that they get their finals in um, more of a timely manner than not having to do it, stretch it out over Christmas and stuff. So we're going to have three finals on tomorrow, on Wednesday, one, three, and five, and then uh, two, four, six on Thursday, and then seven and eight on Friday, and we release at 11.05. The other two days you get done at 12.30. They're going to have second chance breakfast in between each final, so students will have, be able to stay nourished and keep their brain going so they can do well on their finals. And then they're also going to have grab and go lunches at 1230 on both Wednesday and Thursday. And then students that ride the bus, unfortunately the buses are still going to run at 3, so they can use the commons area to um, find a place to study for their finals. So um, athletic practices, I believe, are all going to be like right after school. And so then that means the athletes will be all done by 2.30 or 3, so that gives them more time in the evening to study for their final. So it's more of a college schedule, final schedule, kind of like how that works. So hopefully, you know, it will, this is the first time we're doing it, so hopefully it'll, it'll work out well for the students and teachers alike. All right, thanks, Mr. Alexander. Now back to your anchors. If you have your own transportation, you will be able to leave at 12.30. If you do not, buses will arrive at the usual time after 3.05. Freshman students have been working on a special project recently. Let's go check out what they made. Recently, the freshman English classes just finished their projects for Curiosity Day. So the Curiosity Day is a project where students pick a topic that they would like to research, and they go through the process of researching the topic and learning about research, and embarking on how we learn about things that we're curious about. It used to be the Genius Hour project, but we kind of rebranded. The students had a list of requirements they needed to complete for the project. So the students benefit from this project because they learn a lot about how to use databases, a lot of the vocabulary that's involved with researching, and they learn about the perseverance that's required when researching, the tenacity that you have to have when you're ongoingly looking at a topic, and when you can't find a source that matches your question, what you're going to do in that line of thinking, like are you going to change your question, your source, and how you're going to implement those kinds of critical thinking skills in that way. And also you just generally learn about something that you're interested in, which is a nice opportunity in a school environment. During their English classes, they went to the library and presented their projects to other students at the school. My favorite thing about the project was being able to choose what you research. Jason picked to do his project over the war because of his grade. My two grandfathers were actually in war, so I was like, yeah, why not? Um, I liked how much freedom we got when we were choosing our topic and with our research. I just found something that interests me, and I thought, you know, constellations would be a good thing to do. I think it, we could have used a little bit more time, but I think it was almost a good amount of time. The freshman classes do the project to help them learn more on databases and their research ability. You guys had some interesting ideas. Now let's get on with your announcements. If you would like to join the Writing Center staff next semester, see Ms. Sands for more details. Also, Highland Community College has open enrollment now through January 14th. Check SchoolG for more details. That's it for announcements. Now over to Ike with the sports after this break.
Every year, 15 Americans die due to icicle attacks. This holiday season, get your STDs. Stand away from it. Tell others. Whoa, Chase, watch out! Whoa! And destroy ice. Make sure you're protected. Well, the snowstorm produced, and we got our last snow day of the decade. So on Sunday, the official total at the Billard Airport was 4.4 inches, and then we added a tenth of an inch on Monday. That creates a storm total of four and a half inches, which is the second most snow received from a single storm system since February of 2014. You have to go back over five years ago to see the last time we had over six inches of snow. Of course, we had the blizzard last year, but bottom line, this was a lot of snow for Topeka. Now, looking ahead into this week, it does look like a more tranquil weather pattern will set up, but it's still going to be a cold start to your Wednesday. 15 degrees before school, and then after school with that early release at 1230, our temperature will be 30 degrees. Thursday, even warmer, 27 in the morning and low 40s in the afternoon. And then Friday, 31 in the morning, right around freezing. And then 11 o'clock temperature, because a slightly earlier release on Friday, 42 degrees will be your temperature. Here's a seven day forecast. You can see that we will start that gradual warm up, which will melt the snow. But this time of year, the sun angle is very low. So it's going to take a little bit longer than it would if this happened in February. So here we go, 35 today. 38 tomorrow, then we jump into the 40s, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, slowly warming into the 50s by Sunday and Monday, and we're getting just close enough that we can take an early look at your holiday forecast. Christmas Eve right now looks pretty mild with temperatures in the 50s, and then maybe slightly cooler Christmas Day, highs in the 40s. Looking ahead beyond that, there are indications of some much colder air between Christmas and New Year's, and that could come along with a possible winter storm. Enjoy your break, Vikes. Now, I can Carson, back to you. Thank you, Josh. Before we leave for the holidays, we uh, ask you guys what you want for Christmas. Let's see what Santa's bringing. Hey Vikes, so as you all know, Christmas is coming up, which means it's time to start figuring out what gifts you should get your friends and family. I was curious about what high schoolers want for Christmas, so I went and asked a few of them what they want. Okay guys, so what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I want to find true love. I want for Kane to get better fitment. Uh, from my boy Alex not to get played, and one of those hairless cats. All right, sounds good. Okay, Bree, so what do you want for Christmas? A new phone and a boyfriend. Uh, Xbox One S. What do you guys want for Christmas? A new iPhone charger. Spotify Premium. Um, you know, I've been thinking, and I kind of want a couch, some chairs, you know. A table would be nice. A bag of chips to go with that, you know. Some new controllers for my Nintendo Switch. Um, you know, jelly beans. Sounds good. Okay, so Madison, what do you want for Christmas? Probably some new vans and possibly a new fountain. Uh, spicy pickles. I want some toe socks. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so what do you guys want for Christmas? A hot air balloon that's really hot. Really cool, Mason. I uh, want to adopt a pack of baby sea otters and have them in my bathtub. Sounds cool. Well, some of you guys want some weird things for Christmas. I hope everyone gets what they want and has an amazing break. You guys wanted some really interesting things. That's for sure. Well, we'll see you back here in 2020. Bye-bye.